Welcome to section 6. We only have two more sections left of chapter 12, section 6 and section 7. And after that, we have the test and the final and then summer break, which is awesome. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Section 6 is about surface area and volume of spheres. So the entire section is about spheres. We've done surface area before, we've done volume before, but now we're doing both surface area and volume of spheres. So as you can guess, our objective is to calculate the surface area and volume of spheres. We're going to be learning two more formulas today, but both formulas are in your formula cardstock. We're just going to jump right in with a new formula. The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So let's do example number one. It says calculate the exact surface area of the sphere shown. So I'm going to start with a formula. My surface area is 4 pi r squared. So I have 4 pi times 8 squared. Now I need to think about order of operations. What comes first? Well, parentheses. Okay, I have parentheses, but I don't have to do anything in those parentheses. Please excuse, okay, e, exponent comes next. So 8 squared. So I have 4 pi times 8 squared is going to be 64. Okay, after exponents comes multiplication. I need to multiply 4 and 64. When I do that, I get my surface area to be 256 pi inches squared. I don't want to multiply the 256 and the pi because I'm asked for an exact answer. Exact means I should have pi or a radical or a fraction. So that's my, that's my answer, 256 pi. Okay, here is the example that I would like you to try. It says the surface area of the sphere is 20.25 pi square centimeters. What is the diameter? So right now, you're going to work backwards. I gave you the surface area. You're finding the diameter. So pause the video and try this one on your own, please. Come back after you have finished. Good luck. Okay, let's see how we did. Starting out with a formula, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So I have 20.25 pi, which is my surface area, equals 4 pi r squared. The first thing that I'm going to do is divide both sides by pi. So those pi's disappear and those pi's disappear. I get 20.25 equals 4 r squared. Next, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. When I do that, I get 5.0625 equals r squared. Take the square root, and I get r equals 2.25. Now, be careful here. The question asks us for the diameter. So this 2.25 is the radius. The diameter is going to be twice that. It's going to be 2 times 2.25, which is 4.5. So the answer that you should have gotten is B. The diameter of the sphere is 4.5 centimeters. So hopefully that one went well for you. My guess would be that if anything tripped you up, it was the question, the diameter part. If you got the question right, awesome job. If you made a small mistake, not a big deal. We're just learning. So let's move on. Um, one piece of vocab is hemisphere. What is a hemisphere? Well, a hemisphere is half of a sphere. You're going to need to know this for the section. I just kind of threw it in right now, but we're going to use it later. So that was surface area. Surface area is a pretty easy formula. Volume is also a pretty easy formula. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Again, this is on your formula card stock, so um, it will be provided to you. You just need to know how to use it. So let's jump into a volume example. It says, the diameter of a soccer ball is 22 inches. Find its volume. Starting out with a formula, volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. 
in this case, 4 thirds pi. We are told the diameter is 22, so then my radius is 11. It's going to be half of 22. By order of operations, I want to do the 11 cubed first. When I do that, I get 4 thirds pi. 11 cubed is 1,331. Next, I'm going to multiply. I'm going to do 4 thirds times 1,331. So I get my volume to be 1,774.6 repeating pi. I generally like a fraction, though, so that's going to be 5,324 divided by 3 pi. And then both are inches cubed. So volume is always units cubed. So that was the volume formula. Not too bad. Let's turn the page and look at another example. Okay, so example four, it says calculate the volume of the solid shown. We're going to notice two figures here. So you might have difficulty seeing the figure uh, right up close, but what we have is a cylinder, and then we cut out a hemisphere. So it's like we took a cylinder and we cut a hemisphere out of it. So in order to find the volume of the solid, I'm going to have to find the cylinder, the hemisphere, and then subtract them. Starting with the cylinder, volume is going to be the area of the base multiplied by the height. Well, the base is a circle. So it's going to be pi r squared, or pi times 2 squared, times the height of the cylinder, which is also 2. So the volume of my cylinder is 2 times 2, 4, times another 2, which is 8, so 8 pi. Now the volume of the hemisphere. Now an entire sphere is 4 thirds of pi r cubed. But I have half a sphere. I don't have a full sphere. So I'm going to multiply by 1 half. So this ends up being 1 half times 4 thirds pi times 2 cubed. Now, this is a lot of math, so please make sure you put it in your calculator correctly. But when I put this in my calculator, I get 16 thirds pi. So now the volume of my total figure is going to be the cylinder, 8 pi. Subtract the hemisphere, 16 over 3 pi. So my volume ends up being 8 thirds pi inches cubed. Okay, so let's look at the next example. This is our last example together. It says, in a sport, sport called spheering, a person rolls down a hill inside an inflatable ball surrounded by another ball. The surface area of the outer ball is 324 pi feet squared. Calculate the volume of the outer ball. Okay, so I gave you a picture right there to let you look at what spheering looks like. I was shocked to even hear that this was a sport. But I thought it would be an interesting example. So we are told surface area is 324 pi. We are asked to calculate the volume. Okay, starting with surface area. Surface area is 4 pi r squared. Volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So in order to calculate the volume, we're going to need this radius. So the first thing that you need to do is find the radius. Then use it to find the volume. Right now, pause the video and do this one on your own, please. Okay, let's see how we did. Now, we were given the surface area, so we know that 324 pi equals 4 pi r squared. Now if I divide both sides by pi, I get 324 equals 4 r squared. I divide by 4, divide by 4, I get 81 equals r squared. So r equals 9. Okay, so that's the first thing that you should have done, is use the surface area formula to find the radius. And the radius ends up being 9. Now the question asks us, though, for the volume of the outer ball. So now I'm going to have to substitute this into the volume formula. So volume is going to be 4 thirds pi times 
times 9 cubed. So this ends up being 4 thirds pi. 9 cubed is 729. Next, I'm going to multiply the 4 thirds and the 729. And I get my volume to be 972 pi feet cubed. So hopefully you got that one right. Um, this has brought us to the end of the video. Our objective was to calculate surface area and volume of spheres. So per normal, you have one problem to do on your own to show me that you understood what you're doing. It says the volume of a hemisphere is 18 pi. Find the length of the hemisphere's radius. So you may need to go back in the video or look back in your notes to look at what is a hemisphere. When you come to class tomorrow, I will expect this problem to be finished. Um, please bring any questions that you have to class tomorrow. See you tomorrow.